Hey coders, it's Chris here. In this lesson, we're going to talk about this library called Alamo Fire. I know we used this and covered this a bit in the YouTube video app series in the advanced version that is starting from maybe lesson 10 onward, but I never did it as a separate video and I think it's definitely worth mentioning because it's so useful and such a staple when it comes to doing networking in your Xcode project. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install it and a simple usage case. All right, so let's dig in. In a previous lesson, I showed you guys how to set up CocoaPods, and we're going to use that to install this. But first of all, we're going to create our Xcode project. So I'm going to go ahead, open Xcode, and just create a brand new Xcode project. I'm going to choose a single view application. I'm going to just call this um, AF Sample, and make sure that the language is Swift. The rest doesn't really matter for this demo. I'm going to save it on the desktop. And that's going to be important because I'm going to need to find that folder. Uh, now that we have our project, I'm going to go ahead and close it because we're going to initialize the pod file for our project here on the desktop. So what I'm going to do is hit command spacebar to open spotlight search and I'm going to search for terminal. So once we open that up, you can type pwd to see where you are currently uh, and so it looks like we're in slash users slash Chris now the desktop folder if I press command up command up just to see where it is it's it's under Chris desktop AF sample so that's where I'm gonna go CD desktop because I'm already on the Chris folder so you can type LS to list the directory contents and I can definitely see my folder there so CD AF sample and if you need to go backwards just press CD space dot dot to go up one folder level so there I am at the desktop LS to list it so that's just helpful for you guys uh, if you don't know these terminal commands now if you start typing in a couple letters you can also press tab to complete it if that's the only folder with those two letters alright so in my project folder here I want to type in pod space init and that's going to create the pod file and if I go back to my directory I can see that now it has this pod file and in the pod file I'm going to open it in a text editor like sublime text and here we're going to follow the instructions on the Alamo Fire GitHub page so under installation under CocoaPods uh, you can see how you would install it here let's uncomment platform Let's uncomment use frameworks and in between target and end we can do pod alamo fire just follow that text there or maybe you can even copy and paste it so let's do that all right now we're going to save it and we're actually going to need terminal again so i'm going to open that and we're going to navigate to our folder again so desktop slash af sample and in here we can type in pod install and that's going to read the pod file and it's going to install alamo fire for us okay so now we can go back to af sample and we're going to open up the project by clicking the xc workspace all right i'm going to make this window a little smaller so we can see more of it on the screen uh, and here we're going to jump right into our view controller now before we go on let me talk about what we'll be downloading I created a simple JSON file and put it on my server and you can see here it's a dictionary because it's got these curly brackets it's got a key first key and its value is it worked it's got a second key and its value is an array with three items and we're also loading this through HTTPS so we don't have to worry about the app transport security restriction all right, so going to viewcontroller.swift, all I'm going to do right here is type in import Alamo Fire. And if it doesn't recognize it like that, just press Command B. We're going to build the project. All right, and then in the view did load, I am just going to make a call with Alamo Fire to grab this JSON file and display some of these values so just to review let's go to the usage part of the github page and here you can see how we would make a request and also how to handle the response the key parts to notice the alamo fire class you're going to call request and this is the 
request method or the request type and this is going to be your URL any parameters that you need and we're not going to need any so we're not going to put anything in there dot response JSON to handle the response that comes back and then this part so this optional binding in order to determine if the result had a value and then we get to use the JSON result. So if this is one of your first times using this library, you might have to refer to this usage section a little bit. Uh, but once you do it a couple of times in a couple of different projects, uh, you're probably going to know it like the back of your hand. Okay, so let's go back to our Xcode project and let's fire off the request. And we're going to just use this one without the parameters parameter because we don't need to specify any parameters. So the method is going to be a get and the URL, I'm just going to copy it from here. We're going to write dot response JSON. And this one will suffice with the completion handler. Let's double click this block to expand it. And it's got a response parameter like that. So we're just going to call it response. And in here in the code, we're going to use some optional binding. Check if the result has a value so if let json equals the response dot result dot value so in here we can print the json just like they did in the usage all right so now we're going to just give this a quick run and check out the console All right, so in our console window, it looks like it did grab the JSON. You can see here, first key with the value, second key with that. And if we wanted to print out specific values of the keys, we would just type print JSON first key as string. All right, and let's print second key as an S array. Right, so I print out the value of the first key and this is the value of the second key. So that's how easy it is to use Alamo Fire in your project to handle any sort of networking that you need to do. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please leave your comments below. Uh, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and please share the video because it really helped the channel grow. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.